Hey everybody, what's going on? Duke Baxter here. I'm the CEO of Zone Sports Academy. What is Zone Sports Academy? Zone's a 28,000 square foot indoor baseball and softball training facility, and we train players of all ages and skill levels. Whether you're trying to hit the ball for the first time, you're trying to throw your first strike, you're trying to make your first team, or you have aspirations of playing in college or even professional baseball, this is the place for you. 20 years later, we've got 14 instructors, from hitting, fielding, throwing, baseball, softball, we have performance coaches. That's what Zone Sports Academy is all about. And you know, every day we come here, we we put on put on our baseball gear, we put on our baseball hat, and we just get after it every day. This is where an athlete has to be to succeed. Right now I'm uh, right now I'm actually practicing because there's something that that uh, you know infielders do they really have to work on their their handball exchange and you know catching the ball and getting the ball out real quick and we're always working on ways to um, to quicken that exchange because when you have to turn a double play you have to get the ball from your glove to your hand as fast as you can so I'm just using a pitch back Burbank sport Burbank Sportsnet has a pitch back I'm just working on different ways to you know deflect the ball from my glove to my hand so that I can be quick with getting the ball out as fast as I possibly can. So when you're turning a double play or you're working on a relay, I found this glove. It, I don't even know it's an Easton glove. I have a brand new Rawlings customized glove. I just grabbed this one from the from the uh, from the box because sometimes the challenge is the challenge is real. You know, a lot of people say it looks fake, and it does look fake because it happens so fast. You know, so. I had a comment the other day, the guy's like, that's not even practical, that's not even real, that's not even something that you do in a game. Well, you know, if I'm sitting here going like this, and I'm messing around doing crisscross and working on, working on that, yeah, that's just goofing around, but when you're really trying to work on making it practical, never in a game have I made a mistake or messed the ball or made an error doing this. Inside pitch lately, like, just middle the one, the one that I need to hit and I'm attacking, I'm just every time wow. I'm going over the third. Like, I yeah. think if you do feel like they're they're challenging you in, that's why you gotta keep your posture. Yeah. Right? Well, I think you can, your posture's gonna suck. Yeah, wow. balls in. If I get tall, wow. I'm working around my body. But if I can keep my butt back and my chest over the plate, now my my path to inside pitch is here yeah. instead of yeah. and that's it's not like necessarily like your hands are rolling, yeah. it's just you're swinging around your body. Yeah. Like this comes up, right? I'm almost like coming out of my posture. I'm getting a little taller, yeah. so my hands have to work around. But if I stay here with it, it's almost like my body's rotating around this. So I'm rotating to get to the inside pitch instead of. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So same pitch, right? Like, like if you were to stand, stand right behind me, quick. In order for me to get to that pitch, my barrel has to work almost below my shoulders to get there instead of upright. Now, I'm, I have no room for my hands to work, so they have to work around my body. I used to do the same thing. Like I would feel like you want, you just want to go and pull from here. It's gonna, if your front side's gonna spin, and then everything's gonna work out around your body. You're a fast middle infielder, you can run. Your game is backspin, line drives middle, doubles gap to gap. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I hit this ball 98 miles an hour and try to hit a bomb right here. It's not you. I remember being in the minor leagues trying to keep up with our big first baseman that was 6'5", 270. Yeah. Yeah, it's not me. Happening. And it's not you. You're, you're a fast middle infielder. Your game is fast yeah. middle line drives all over the field. You'll run into some balls. Yeah. But especially in like a 2-0 count. Yeah. Don't turn into Josh Donaldson just because it's 2-0 yeah. all of a sudden. Like, be the best version of Christian Bowen. Just 2-0 yeah. fastball. Cheap fastball. I'm going back, backside double. The drill we're going to do now. We're gonna take, take your glove off. We gotta catch five in a row somehow, some way. It's just about you know kids learning the game of baseball, having fun playing the game, um, enjoying their time here, getting a little bit better every day. Because what a lot of kids don't realize is that baseball is like such a slow growth, and a lot of kids give up because they think they're just gonna get better in one day. And just enjoy. Work on a hand-eye coordination, and let's go! 
Oh my, are you out of breath? Yeah. Uh. So this is going to split the railroad tracks. These two are going to get the inside of the railroad tracks. See that? So now we throw feel the fingertips coming off the seams. See that? Give it a pump. How long have you been working here for? Five years. This is uh, the best place to work because it's a brotherhood around here, right? We all love each other. Finish it. Keep playing it in your head. Let's go. Coach Sean. Coach Sean's been here longer than long since since what? 2001. Four. 2004. Vet. Veteran of zone. Coach. Coach everything. Hitting, pitching, fielding, catching. You name it. Everything you need. Everything. There it is. Do it again. Let's go, kid. shoulder all the way to the ground and you swing up to the sky. That's what you gotta do. It's a way to be successful. Oh, pick him up! What's, what's, up? Your, what's your coaching philosophy? For me, it's pretty much boiled down to three things. I'd say it's customization, optimization, and then efficiency. So what I mean by that is, if I'm making a developmental plan, I don't want any two to look the same. It should be customized to the athlete. Then from there, optimizing, meaning how can we build on their strengths and get the most out of the athlete. And then efficiency is just about not only working hard, but making sure we're working in the right direction. So we're not wasting any time as far as their development, working on things that aren't gonna get them better. So I started coming here when I was 16 years old, worked a little bit of the travel ball and stuff as well, but was training here all through high school. Um, and then out of here, I went to George Washington University in DC bounced around to four colleges in four years and then was drafted by the White Sox and then after playing for the White Sox came back here and now I'm coaching. The first card I have is Annie Pettit, um, Bernie Williams and Jorge Posada autograph. When did you get that? I got that at a triple threat but I don't know where. Ah. I got Aaron Judge rookie card. And I have a graded nine and a half um, Aaron Judge rookie card on Ooh! Interval draft is um, it's a complicated process. Only the most intelligent people know how to, to, to talk about it, to think about it Dude, um, when it comes to that. Let's go. And it's a simple question. But with the 22nd pick in the 2021 NFL draft. Yeah, I like long walks on the beach. My favorite color is blue. Uh, I've been a GM of a, of a football team for three seasons. I've won two Super Bowls and gone to the gone to the uh, league championship on Madden every single year. But dude, I do not need you coming over here and trying to stir the pot with me. A couple snide comments, man. Speaking of stirring the pot, you've always told me you're gonna make chili. You still haven't done that yet. So I don't know. When I don't make gonna... chili, man. I don't understand why, like, everybody is so uptight. They know I'm smarter than they are. Good. Much better. On the, on the line drive, two hands, thumb to thumb, so we can transfer that. Seamless transfer? Yep. Coach Carissa, how long have you been playing softball for? I've been playing since I was like five years old. Yeah, but, but we actually, we, I played t-ball my first year with the boys. And then we found the right league for girls. Um, I've been at Zone for a little over a year, and then I am the head coach at St. Elizabeth University. Right. What do you strongly believe in coaching? My coaching philosophy is centered around holistic development, so developing not just the physical aspect of the player, but mental, emotionally, spiritually, if that's what they need from me. So just developing the whole kid instead of just the softball player. An old wise man told me this a long time ago, and it legitimately works. If you want to throw harder, freeze a turkey. And start throwing that turkey. 
Because the hardest thing about pitching is control. Do you want, would you rather throw a baseball or a frozen turkey? A frozen, uh, frozen turkey. Big Why is that? Answer? I don't know. I don't think he could have given a better answer. I got like a lot of plays forehand, yeah. and it was like good. Fine. Like, I got they were fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one backhand I didn't get. Yeah. That was a, a one backhand. Was it an area that ball that you just missed that you just could, you couldn't get or you just no? Didn't it was like clean? no. I I like try. I went this way instead of going. Okay. Backhand. Okay. Yeah. So so let's get let's get our uh, our cones out and let's do all of our simulations again. Okay. Yeah, the shuffle. Yep. Yep. Remember when we talked about that one? You want to really get down low. Get down low before. Yeah. Now attack the one in the middle. That's a forehand that you're going to bust through. Now we're gonna do the hard cross. I feel like I'm stabbing at it. Yeah. Okay. Now the soft one, you gotta. Not everything is perfect. Palm up and once you go, you want to lead with that. That's going to keep you down low. Because there were some some of the shots that I was watching when we were doing the videos, it was like that hot shot to your backhand was like this. You can see my gloves up, yeah. and now it's, boom. You want to get to that same position and it's this. Okay. So whatever my move is, my glove is, my glove's going, oh. My glove's down. Now I'm always working up. I can work through. And on that hot shot, I can flip it over. Nice job. Oh, 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 oh. We got it on video. We got it on video.